All right. Uh, I want to share this with y'all. Uh, if you got a little tractor, I got the DK5010. And I didn't do much of a walkthrough of it the other day. Uh, but it came with a bucket and the forks. And it's a, got the 5510 loader on it. And it's a pretty good little tractor. The seat's a little rough. It's got 540 hours now. I had like 520 when I bought it. I put about 20, 20 something hours on it. Uh, but I've been toting around that bush hog for the ballast, the weight, which, uh, you know, ballast is the, they call what the fluid you put in tires ballast or whatever. It's anything to add weight to something, you know. Uh, and I'd been using the bush hog for the counterweight and it, you know, it's fairly heavy, but I looked at them up. I think they weigh like 700 pounds, maybe. And they may weigh more than that, may weigh less. I don't really know, but i'll rig this up uh you can buy a ballast box off of the the uh off of ebay and it just comes with this i painted it, it come red but i added this box i added this box to it this back box but uh it comes with this box right here the the first little square and uh I'm a little shaky so I put that on there and I filled it up with concrete. I think it held like uh, five or five or so 60 pound bags and then three or three and a half 80 pound bags of concrete and I poured it in there, let it set up. But I put me two uh, sheaths in there or scabbers, whatever you want to call them, uh, for a chainsaw. That way I can put my saw up there and let it ride uh, they're the long scabbers. It's, they're like two foot long or so. So there's about a foot and a half down in the concrete. Uh, and I'm not going to run any big saws back there. Just want a little saw back there. May put that Amazon saw on there or something like that. Something cheap. If it gets beaten, banged around, it don't really matter. Uh, but it had that much concrete. And then on this box that I added, I ended up putting concrete in it. One by 80 pound bag. So... I got four 80 pound bags and and five uh, 60 pound bags. All right? Yeah, so it's 300 and 240. So five times six, 300 and then eight times four is 320. So, excuse me. Yeah, like 620 pounds of concrete in there. And then what the box weighs and this box weighs and what i done is i screwed it to this ballast box with some sheet metal screws before i put the concrete in there and i had a piece of flat stock i welded it for a brace kind of to keep that box from flopping this is an old box that was on one of my goosenecks and then uh i took those old holes for my chainsaw bars that was no count and I wanted them on there for uh, bottom supports. And it comes with a Reese hitch. So I can hook a choker up to it and stuff like that. And drag stuff if I need to. That's the only reason I got the Reese hitch. Not to move trailers. If I go to do that, I'll mount me a ball on my bucket or my forks. And use those to move it. That way I can see it a little better. Uh, but it, it weights it down pretty good, honestly. Uh, and then I'm going to... I made it a carry-all as well in a way. That way I can put uh, hydraulic oil, chokers, cables, a few tools, which I got a little pin box there, but it don't hold much. And, uh, you know, I can put all that kind of stuff back here and let it ride, and that'll add some extra weight. So uh, it bulges the tires pretty good. Uh, typically when it's sitting on the ground, the, the front tires are swollen out a little bit, and... Uh, when you pick this up you can fill it bounce the back end so it's added plenty of weight i believe just as much if not more than the bush hog was and uh i did that because you know this loaders are pretty strong they'll pick up quite a bit but the problem is they uh you know it picks the back end of your tractor up so that's what i've done the tractor i mean it's a tractor it's done really good i've done a lot of work with it hauled uh, I've hauled about 40 logs with it so far, or loaded about 40 logs with it so far, and it's done great. Uh, some of them's been, been a tad bit heavy, but some of them was pretty big, like three foot on the butt end, you know, so uh, I'm working it a little too hard on them, but as far as your average size trees, what you deal with most of the time, you know, 24 inch, 
to 28 inch stuff it picks them up no problem uh anything a little heavier than that you gotta get a little creative but uh, it sure beats the way I was doing it with the winch on my trailer and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with y'all and uh, go over the tractor just a little bit more. Uh, I hadn't had it long enough to really do a review on it so far. It's doing good. I do have a little bit of a leak, hydraulic leak. Uh, not there, that's water from the rain, but uh, I think it's coming from the gear shifter. So anyhow... It ain't leaking terrible, and I may have it over too full because uh, it seeps a little bit, but it was leaking a little more, but I may have it a little too full. Uh, but who knows? It may be leaking. But next week or so, I'm going to try to take it into the dealer and have them service it and get everything squared away, and then I'll probably start servicing it myself. Um, I agree with everything. I got Alamites ordered for it. Whoever owned it before me broke some of the Alamites off in the... Uh, the loader part of it and uh anyhow so this is the back where i did have all that wood where i've been cutting and stuff and it we we cleaned all it up scraped all it up moved that trailer that's going to be a moving deer stand one of these days and uh got my back driveway finally cleaned up so anyhow i'm digging the tractor and uh it's been doing good so i'm gonna keep working it and trying to make money with it I made quite a bit of money with it so far, but not quite recoup everything, <laughs> everything that it costs. So anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.